Welcome to this 510K tutorial, in which we are going to have an overview of Press 4 Acid Live 10 features. Press 4 Acid Live 10 is an analog-inspired 8-step sequencer designed by Alex Kidd for Ableton Max 4 Live, allowing you to create patterns orientated for bass synths, in a very simple and intuitive way, either by writing the sequence through its dedicated controls, or by using the individual or general randomization features. This sequencer has four sequence lines. Gate pitch, accent, and glide. Each of these lines has an independent length and play mode. Each length can vary from 1 to 8 steps long. The play mode can be forward, backward, bi-directional, or random. The gate line is where the rhythm pattern gets written, and each step increment is defined by the clock division setting adjustable here. By default, the speed is set to 16th notes. You can also adjust the swing and note length, here. The pitch line is where the melodic pattern gets written. The notes programmed in this line are always forced within a key, defined here, and a scale that we can select in this drop-down menu. The scales have been updated to correspond with Ableton's Push 2 scales. The accent line defines whether the step will be accented. Accented velocity is set via VEL high with MIDI values ranging from 0 to 127, here, along with a non-accented velocity value set in VEL low. The glide line defines whether the step will trigger your synth's glide function. Please note that your synthesizer must be monophonic and enable the glide when notes overlap. Each of the lines can be reset, or randomized, by pressing the corresponding buttons on the right side of each line. To generate a random pattern hit press 4 acid, or force a full reset by pressing the global reset button. The randomization features have been set to optimize musical results. At the top right of the plugin, you can switch the plugin off and on in real time. When off, the button blinks and the sequencer is still running, but doesn't output any notes. Here you can toggle the advanced mode between step or gate mode. These two modes define how the pitch, accent and glide lines increase their steps. In step mode, each step will increase with a defined clock division. But in gate mode, each trigger from the gate sequence increases the other sequences by one increment. By reducing the lengths of each line, it becomes very easy to create evolving polyrhythms, thus allowing unexpected patterns, all in one page and easily accessible. Last but not least, in this update, all parameters are mapped to Ableton's Push 2.